everybody. It's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas. I'm going to do a swipe on it of sorts. And um, I have my base coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water as my base coat. I'm not going to go over all my paints today, but I am going to tell you that I have five um, regular acrylic paints. And I have six of the color art primary elements. And I've mixed them all with Vivid Polypore. That is a product that's suggested to be used with the primary elements. But I did mix all of my paints today with the Vivid Polypore. And um, I did thin uh, my uh, color art primary elements with the Josanya gloss varnish in water and I just um, to thin my regular acrylic paints I just used water uh, let's see no silicone added today so what I'm going to do is start laying the paints down and I'm just going to lay them across the, the uh, canvas and then we'll take it from there and I'll you'll just see what I'm what I'm doing here today. This is one of the um, regular acrylic paints. Most of the regular acrylic paints are Amsterdam. I think I have one Liquitex Basics in there, but I will list all my paints and the pouring medium, all the details in the description box. So make sure you go there to check it out. And this is one of the primary elements. Very pretty yellow color. This, I believe, is the Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. If I do know the name of the paint as I lay it down, I'll let you know. And that, that other greenish uh, yellow is from Amsterdam. Let's see. Now I'm going to lay my red. Again, this is, this is Amsterdam Carmine. Real pretty color. And in there, I'm going to add some interference gold from the color art primary elements. It does come out white. It looks white on camera, but it will give it a gold shimmer. And this is the emerald from the color art primary elements. And I am not sure what this real pretty blue color is off the top of my head, so we'll have to check the description box for that one. And I'm going to sneak a purple in here. And this is an Amsterdam color. I should show you consistency here. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears. And this is actually, well, here's another. This is called Olive, I believe, from the Color Art line. And the last one is their black. Another color art product. Okay, and I will add 
some more of the interference gold here. And I'm going to repeat my colors now, but I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to start back with the, let's start with the olive here again. And let's give it some emerald. And this is an Amsterdam blue color. And this is that greenish yellow from Amsterdam. And again, the red, the carmine. Some of that orange. Some of this beautiful yellow. Okay, and now I'm going to end with that black. Let's see if I can find the, it's just called Black, Black Emerald is the name of this from the color art line. Okay, and where I did drop some paint, I am going to clean that off because I do want it to be just the white. And I will add a little bit more of my base coat to the, those two areas. And I'm going to add a little bit more here too. Okay. And now I'm just going to smooth that out because I'm going to be doing a little bit of tipping here. I think that will be my last thing to do. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting almost like fractals here off that black, which is so pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna give it a torch here. Get some of the air bubbles up. I did mix these paints yesterday. Okay, and I do have some cards here that I, just little plastic cards that I made up. And I'm just going to do a little bit of swipe here. just to blend these colors a little bit.
really enjoying this process. I hope you are too. And even where you can add some paint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip my little card in the red. And because I like red, let's, let's just add a little bit there. See how much that added there? And I'll just run it across there again, smooth it out. So very pretty. Use the edge of your card to just drag a little bit of that paint across. Okay, I think I have a real little card here, I do. Let's just give that a try. That worked out well. Okay. Gonna give it another torch here. And see, I just love how that fractal like that. Just gonna do a little bit of tipping. And I think I will tip it this way. I'll let you see that though. So let me turn it the way I will tip it here as I think this would be the top. Just gonna let a little of that go down. And then I'll bring it back. Okay. I'm really loving this. I think I want to leave it just like that. Wipe my hands off here and I'll get you down for a close-up. Just checking my sides here. So, so pretty. Gonna just tip it a little more here. Okay. Get you down for a close up. Okay, here we are for our close up again. This is a 10 by 10 inch canvas. And I was thinking about this the black, the emerald, uh, the black emerald, excuse me, the color art uh, primary element. And the reason it fractaled like that is because my white base coat was a lot thinner. And it just allowed it to branch out like that. So pretty. What a nice effect. So this is the upper left-hand corner. You can see a lot of that shine in there from the, from the primary elements. Again, you can see the green is really shining through. And that black looks like diamonds in there. This is the lower right, our left-hand corner, excuse me. I'll take you up the middle here. You can see some of the shine in there. Just glistening. And there's the top, and we'll go over to the upper right. What a nice effect that is. And we'll just go down the right-hand side here. Pretty in here. Pretty in here too. And this is the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. 
Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help out my channel. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.